Hello everyone, Evil Auto Jr. here with what I hope will be a quick tutorial on how to convert any lightsaber sound font to work with your Ultra Sabers Diamond controller. Now if you're on the Ultra Sabers Saber forum, you'll know that a tutorial does exist on how to convert sound fonts using Audacity. However, this tutorial is several years old. Most of the photo links are broken because of photo bucket. And the method is very slow. You can only convert one sound file at a time, and it takes about an hour to convert everything. The way I'm about to show you converts all the sounds at once, and you can get it done in as little as one minute, which I think is a vast improvement. So, what you're going to want to do is install a program called Media Human Audio Converter. This program is free, and when you install it, it does not try to install a bunch of crapware and toolbars with it. So I will put a link in the description to this program. And this is the one that I have found works the best. There are other audio converters that I've tried, and I think this one just gives the most consistent results. And, of course, it's free. So... If you'll notice in the effect editor, if you try and load a sound file that is not compatible, you are going to get an error message like this. And it'll tell you what your sample rate is, which is also found in the instructions. So now what we're going to do is we are going to convert a sound font. We are going to convert KOTOR by Machinimax. This is a great sound font if you like the Knights of the Old Republic games. I will put a link in the description to where you can buy this. Always support the sound font creators. So take all of your files and drag them into Media Human. It's going to take a couple of seconds just to get them all loaded. And here's where you change your settings. And once you have these set, you can leave them alone and you don't need to change them again. So go into your settings, click your little wrench, and you want this to be wave file mono 48,000 hertz. Now you'll see a couple of different options for wave file here. You see 24, 32, and 8. This is not labeled as 16, but it is the 16 bit. So that's what you want. And I like to set a folder specifically for conversion, so I can just copy and paste out of that folder. I don't need to change it each time. This is very convenient. I highly recommend you do that. So once you have that set, you can go ahead and close out of that, and you're ready to go. Just click this Start Conversion button, and it will take probably a minute or two to convert all of your files. And here we go. All right, so all of our sound files have been converted successfully. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into our converted folder, and we are going to take all of these, cut them out of this folder, go into our test sound folder, paste these here. And now, if you open up one of these files in the launcher. We're gonna go navigate to this folder and we're just gonna pick a noise. It, and it seems to work perfectly fine. I don't know if you can hear that on the computer, but it has imported successfully. So we can go ahead and close it to that and at this point you can upload it into your diamond controller sound font as normal and your sound font is completely converted. Now I would like to note that this works primarily for Plector Labs formatted sound fonts. It will technically work for Nigon sound fonts, however Plector sound fonts like diamond sound fonts are pre-mixed meaning the idle hum is mixed into the background whereas nigon sound fonts actually play the sounds over the hum so they're not mixed you can convert the nigon and put it on your diamond but it won't sound correct so if you want to convert a nigon font you need to do a bit of extra work in audacity adding the background hum into all of your 
sounds, and this is something I may do a tutorial on later. But if you're sticking with Plector Lab sound fonts, and most of them are available for that since that is the standard, you don't really have to do anything else. I am actually going to show you a quick demo of the sound font that I just converted. All right. Uh, the only other thing that I think I need to mention is that as of this video's making, there is a slight issue with the volume on the Diamond controller. When you upload your sound fonts, all of your sounds are normalized to be the same volume. The idea behind this, according to the manufacturer, is that you can mix and match sound files from different sound fonts, but since the files have the background hum mixed in, it doesn't actually work that way. I've been trying to get them to remove this normalization on the forums. Hopefully, uh, they will eventually listen to that and at least make it a toggleable option. So you're going to need to mess around with your volume in your effects editor, which is right here. And that'll take some trial and error to get, make sure that your hum is the same volume as your power on and all of your clashes. And that's just kind of a nitpicky thing that makes your sound font sound a little bit cleaner. But I think I'm gonna stop talking now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them either in the comments on this video or on this video's thread on Saber Forum. And hopefully I'll have some new sound fonts for you soon and some other neat lightsaber-related content. All right, thank you very much, guys. Hope this helps.